like online dating apps does not work you don't believe about finding love on online dating apps no matter how i do videos <laughs> to explain to you give you stories of people who have met on online dating apps still you're like mm, i don't know if it works <laughs> so the lady who shared with us this love story of today <laughs> she was like you you who is thinking that online dating apps does not work you cannot find love on online dating apps yes that was her and that is why guys i am here to inspire you i am here to encourage you tell you that it is possible by sharing her beautiful love story so our this video is going to be about a Kenyan lady by the name of Njeri who found love on online dating apps in less than a month of joining that dating app. I'm going to be sharing with you the name of the dating app. So guys, watch the video till the end. Yeah, what is more exciting about this story or what makes it more special than other videos that you have ever watched in my channel is because this lady gave you tips and tricks on how to find the one so fast <laughs> just like the way she found the one in less than a month guys <laughs> so it's gonna be very very interesting trust me guys and due to the video that i did last time that is why i thought this video is going to be perfect for you ladies who are on online dating apps searching because last video guys i know it was very sad but in every story that I share in this channel, you have got something to learn. And I won't stop sharing with you challenges that black women come across on online dating apps because that is the only way to rescue you, not to fall in the hands of the wrong man. So no matter how you hate sad stories, you will have to watch sad stories so that you can learn it is for your own good. But today's video, oh my God, we are only on the positive side. Things that will make you laugh a lot and learn at the same time. So dear friends, let us jump into our video right now. But guys, before I continue with this story, the lady who shared with us her story is a content creator. Her YouTube channel name is called Jerry's Kitchen and Lifestyle. So after watching this story or after watching her story, please, please go and check out her channel. There is a lot of things to learn from her channel. She also shared some videos about her experience on online dating apps. She does lifestyle videos and cooking videos. You are going to love her because she is such a positive lady. Always smiling, <laughs> just like Bella. <laughs> so friends, you know that I cannot start a story without telling you where the person came from before joining online dating apps. What was her past relationship experience like? These stories help us to know where someone came from. Yes, you see an interracial couple on social media and you like it, but do you know where they came from? <laughs> Because where they came from, sometimes it really teaches a lot and inspires a lot. You can relate with your life of what you're going through now or of what you went through in the past. So this brings us to know what was Injury's past love relationship experience. Was she dating a Kenyan guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god last time some kenyan men came on my channel there is a video i did about east african men and this guy was telling me we should put you on twitter and you will know who are kenyans <laughs> actually the guy was threatening me <laughs> But anything that I do in this channel, nothing personal, guys. We are here to have fun. We are here to have experience. This is the real talk. So was Jerry dating a Kenyan guy? If yes, how was it like? Oh, she was just single. And when she joined online dating apps, <laughs> the man she found was her first love. Was it like that? <laughs> no, guys. The man that she found on online dating apps wasn't her first man 
in the past she was in a relationship actually Jerry has got a story that is kind similar to Maria the last video that I shared because Jerry got pregnant at the age of 16 and gave birth at the age of 17 she dropped out from primary school could not end her education because she got pregnant guys and after getting pregnant it wasn't easy at all it was very very difficult for her i remember jerry did a video about her pregnancy story how she became pregnant at the age of 16 and as she was talking guys i watched that video i could see tears in her eyes she was only trying <laughs> you know to hide those tears by putting a smile on her face because she is a strong lady so that shows us that jerry passed through a lot when she got pregnant at the age of 16. so friends jerry getting pregnant was just an accident that happened you know shit happened <laughs> yeah so it happened guys she went through a lot but in the end gave birth after some time guys when her son grew, she started putting her life together and started working in a sausage company in Nairobi. So this brings me to you ladies, if you're here watching this story and maybe something happened in the past, you got pregnant and you're at home, you're like, I cannot find a job, you are there complaining, stop complaining and do something to your life, yes. Because you can't just be living in the past. You have to move on and try to change your life. Because even the guy who got you pregnant and then sees you, you are there relaxing or complaining, saying that you're suffering, things are so hard, or you're fighting with this man so that he can help you, so that he can give you child support. There is no need to fight with him. This is all about your life. It's time to stand up, look for something to do. Please, please, my dear, beautiful ladies, because no one can change your life. It is only you who can change your life. You have that power. It is only you who can get whatever you want in life. Trust me, dear, beautiful ladies. So if someone got you pregnant and then abandoned you or someone got married to you and then divorced you, you are there at home. You don't have anything that you're doing right now. You are in the state of confusion, frustrated. Don't make that man that divorced you. Don't make that man that got you pregnant and abandoned you be happy because when he sees you like that confused frustrated he gets happy no don't give him that happiness stand up and do something to your life just like the way jerry did could not just stay at home and be like i'm going to be fighting with this man until he gives me the child support <laughs> oh i'm just you know a lost case no no don't call yourself a lost case <laughs> so friends how did jerry come have to find out about online dating apps jerry tells us that she came to find out about online dating apps through a friend a friend recommended her that dating app to try it out so jerry joined that dating app but as she was on the app searching jerry was working i've told you she was working in the sausage company in Nairobi so you can see guys you can't just be on online dating apps without a job you need to have something that you're doing I know some of you hate me for saying this <laughs> but guys this is the bare truth white men don't want to be in complicated relationships date a lady who does not work so please i repeat do something for yourself it will help you so so much i know how it can be very hard to find a job in africa <laughs> but you can do something even a small business means a lot so jerry kept on searching and her life kept on moving so guys jerry tells us that yes she joined online dating apps 
but she was someone who never believed that you can find love on online dating apps who never believed that online dating apps works <laughs> that is why when i started this video i told you if you're someone who don't believe that you can find love on online dating apps this video is perfect for you because the person who shared the story didn't believe also that she can find love on online dating apps so she joined just because a friend recommended it to her and as she was searching the friend was searching too and luckily guys that friend that recommended her the dating app found love found a man from germany when jerry got to find out about that she was like what so online dating apps works oh my god <laughs> she tells us that she had even started to give up sometimes she could log in sometimes she could log off she also took a break <laughs> so when a friend told her that i have found love on that dating app she was like oh my god i am coming back so she came back with a new profile and new photos to start searching seriously because at that time she started believing that it is possible to find the one on online dating apps so here is where the story gets interesting because <laughs> from here you are going to be starting to get those tips and tricks <laughs> so listen carefully guys so what she could do she used to send 10 messages every day to different men she tells us that some could reply and some could not reply this is very very important i've been telling you guys you have been on online dating apps searching and men are not approaching you or those who approach you you are not attracted to them so you can't just sit down and wait for men to find you you have to make an effort to look out for them so you should make that first approach just like the way jerry did jerry could send 10 messages every day and after sending she could go through to what those men have responded she tells us that if a guy could start like oh you're so beautiful you're so sexy you have beautiful boobs <laughs> <laughs> that was a no if a guy could bring any talk like sex that was a no she didn't care if it was in a positive way or not that was a no for her because a guy who tells her you're so beautiful i love you you're so sexy <laughs> <laughs> that means he is not serious this brings me to another tip guys when you go on online dating apps go with your plan that's your original plan never for any reason change your original plan just because of a guy so if you've come to bella's channel bella is telling you when a guy talks of sex that is a no a guy is not serious when a guy asks you for nude photos that is a no that means a guy is not serious do not change for any reason and be like maybe i should try send him those sexy photos it can work no guys it is not going to work and i'm not telling you these things because i am married <laughs> i think i said this also before <laughs> no it is for your own good guys i've seen things happening when i tell you i've seen things happening just believe me i chat with different ladies both who have found love and those who have not found love yet so those who have found love and they're in the hands of wrong white men the things they are going through i wouldn't wish you guys to go through those things that is why i'm telling you a guy talking of sex a guy telling you let's do online sex is a no because some men are sex maniacs so you get married to a guy and he starts bringing those weird weird fantasies that is why i am here to save you so jerry could not accept any talk about sex you talk of sex she cancels you and that is how you are supposed to do it too if you do that you will remain with men who are serious you will chat with only those so guys yes and jerry found love in less than a month but it doesn't mean she did not go through challenges 
one of the challenges we all know that guys <laughs> men could ask for nude photos so in that one month yes she faced those two <laughs> so don't be like oh my god she was so lucky and found love just like that in one month no you have to go through them so don't take it as something that is happening only to you it is normal guys that is how online dating world is i've been singing of this if you are new here maybe it is the first time hearing me telling you this but on online dating apps you will find fake people you will also find people who are real who wants a real relationship which will lead to marriage so friends jerry gives you an advice you who are on online dating apps searching she tells you that every day make sure that you send at least 10 messages to different men because yes nine can be fake but the ten might be the one so you shouldn't give up and be like because all 99 men have been asking for nude photos all 99 men have been asking me to do you know online sex so i think i should give up she tells you do not stop from there because that 99, the 100 one, is the real one. <laughs> I don't know if you get the point. But the point is, you shouldn't give up for any reason. Any challenge that you come across, it shouldn't make you give up. Not at all. Because online dating apps works. She tells us she is the witness <laughs> that online dating apps works. She found the one <laughs> in less than a month. So let's continue and find out how did Jerry find the one and how was it like? How did it start so that you can get that experience? How a serious man <laughs> starts a conversation? How is it like? <laughs> Compare it with the messages that you have been receiving from men on online dating apps. So friends, Jerry tells us that she used to send 10 messages every day to different men and that day that she sent 10 messages to different men some of them responded and among of the people who responded there is this norwegian guy that responded her message in a very respectful way it was in a mature way a guy introducing himself in a very decent way we have another point guys <laughs> i know you all ladies that are on online dating apps searching for love you want a mature man am i right if the answer is yes there is no need for you to give a chance to a guy who will send you a first message and you see that a guy is immature if you sense that cancel it no matter how desperate you are we can see that jerry had a very bad past love relationship experience and she was so disappointed and wanted to try maybe date a white man and see if she will find true love this means that jerry was desperately looking for true love but her being desperate did not make her take nonsense i'm talking about guys asking for your nude photos guys telling you you're so sexy i imagine to be in bed with you seeing you until you have very sexy eyes <laughs> <laughs> you know she did not take that nonsense she knew what she wanted so that is the exact thing that i want you guys to do know what you want don't take the nonsense for any reason <laughs> so if a guy shows immaturity in his first message don't take him there is no need to even respond to him so this guy was very very mature in his first message there was no i love you the first message i love you you don't know me you don't know anything about me <laughs> that is so immature and it's the behavior of a player so jerry was really surprised and like oh my god this guy seems very mature very decent compared to all men 
that I have been chatting to so far. So he was totally different from all. And that is how you know that the guy is the one. He's gonna be very, very different. I know you have been facing lots of challenges, but that day when the one comes, you will sense it because he will be totally different from all just like this norwegian guy who is Jerry's husband as we are talking and something else very very interesting about this norwegian guy that sounded very mature that sounded very decent <laughs> it was like a plus to Jerry, this Norwegian guy was someone who knows God, a prayerful man. And Jerry tells us that she used to pray a lot for God to give her a man who is prayerful. <laughs> she was like, Bella, I know us black people, we always say that white men don't know God, but I used to cry and tell God that, please give me a husband that is prayerful. And yes, God answered her prayers, brought a man who was very, very prayerful. So it was a plus to Jerry. You too who is on online dating apps searching, and maybe you want a guy who is a Christian, a guy who knows God, it's up to you to talk to God because God is faithful. He is going to answer your prayers. The only thing you need to do is to talk to him, tell him the kind of man that you want. And trust me, guys, he's gonna bring that man in your life. We can see a testimony through Jerry. This man was very, very prayerful that the first gift that he brought to Jerry was a Bible. Can you believe that? <laughs> I know you guys who have been meeting devils on online dating apps, you're like, I don't know if such men still exist. <laughs> They exist, guys. They exist. You just need to be patient and trust in God. So, friends, back to the story. They started chatting. Everything was going very well. And they used to talk every day. They send messages to each other. They could make video calls during the weekend. Today, guys, I am going to make sure that I give you all the tips that are needed. We never get enough of online dating tips guys they are always helpful <laughs> so guys a tip here is don't take these excuses from guys who tell you i love you who tell you i want to come and marry you i want to see your parents but they don't want to make a video call or they make a video call once in a month and they don't want to make any other video call when you ask excuses 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 don't take those excuses i told you guys every day joins new people in the dating apps even right now as i'm speaking new men are still joining online dating apps so why should you waste your time with a guy who is telling you i cannot make a video call with you i'm so busy with my daughter <laughs> <laughs> that means you're not his priority. He's just wasting your time. You should chat with men who will give you their full time, full attention. You want to talk to him, he will talk to you without giving you lots of excuses. You should chat with a guy that you will be on the same page. A guy who will want exact thing that you want if you want a serious relationship that will lead to marriage that man should want a serious relationship that will lead to marriage if you chat with such kind of a man that means that everything is going to go smoothly because you are on the same page you go and start chatting with a guy who is only thinking of your goodies <laughs> coming to africa and take your goodies guys by the way <laughs> Last time I got a comment, someone was complaining that me saying goodies, I cheapen women. <laughs> so she's like, I don't think that word is good. You should change it. What do you think? Write to me in the comment section below. But for me, guys, I really enjoy saying the goodies. <laughs> 
so i'm going to read your comments about that so you chat with a guy who wants the goodies only from you or who wants that romantic talk or romantic chat with you only on the phone not that he is planning to marry you then you are planning something else you're planning of marriage you're planning of having kids with him you even imagine the faces of your kids you know those cute kids that will come out <laughs> from your reunion <laughs> you are not on the same page so chat with a guy that you will be on the same page so guys they kept on chatting they kept on talking every weekend and she tells us that this helped their relationship very very much they could share with each other everything that they are doing their daily activities have you taken lunch good morning good night what are you doing maybe i'm going to the church they could communicate like they are living together it was like that distance was not there this reminds me about joyce's advice when she said that if you are chatting with a guy you are in a long distance relationship and this guy is encouraging then that long distance relationship is gonna be easy so we can see too with jerry it became so easy for her or easy for them because they used to communicate like they were living together so you should take a tip here and use it in your relationship or ask yourself a question a guy that i'm chatting to right now does he talk to me every day does he chat with me in the morning afternoon and at night like all of the time sending each other messages does he do that if he does not do that you know something is wrong somewhere it's not that i want to break your relationship guys no i want you guys not to waste your time find yourself in the hands of the right man yes guys so friends as Jerry was telling me this story i asked her a very very important question that will also help you in your search i asked her after sending him a message why did he respond to you what was so special that pushed him to respond to you she told me it's because my message was very decent and after responding to me the way i continued like responding to him he knew that i was the one because i was very decent remember i told you guys exist black women that use their bodies to seduce white men think that when they send the photos maybe of their bodies these white men gonna fall in love <laughs> <laughs> so jerry was responding in a good way chatting normal things same as him i've told you you guys should be on the same page this guy was chatting normal things asking about kenya nairobi the weather because norwegians always talks about weather <laughs> They like talking about weather they care about the weather how the weather is gonna be today how the weather is gonna be tomorrow <laughs> in the next week it is all about weather so this guy used to ask about weather used to ask about life in africa no more talks and jerry too used to respond the same not that the guy is asking about africa asking about nairobi asking about the weather and jerry is like oh here are my boobs <laughs> <laughs> no she was not doing that and that really attracted this norwegian guy more to jerry so you guys even the way you behave the way you respond to these men matters a lot you cannot just come to me and tell me bella i've been on online dating apps i don't know for how many years and it's not working that means something is wrong somewhere and you need to find out if you really want to find the one another thing that this norwegian guy got attracted to jerry is because jerry never talked about money with this guy yes they used to talk every day they used to communicate i've told you their chats were normal things <laughs> <laughs> she never brought up a topic of money this doesn't mean jerry did not want money no <laughs> who doesn't 
doesn't like money guys everyone likes money but when you're on online dating apps you cannot bring money topic because when you bring money topic that is when you confuse a guy because men have been facing this challenge of ladies asking for money so when you ask money you just be like them nothing special about you so jerry never brought her problems oh i have a kid my kid is sick he needs medicines oh my kid is hungry he has not eaten in three days or four days <laughs> so she was not talking about that we should learn from this no matter how you have lots of problems in swahili they say kufa na shida zako <laughs> die with your problems <laughs> don't bring them on this white man <laughs> Because if you bring them, you're gonna lose him. <laughs> yeah. So this guy told Jerry before meeting Jerry was chatting with a lady from a certain African country. I'm not going to mention that country because you guys get easily offended. <laughs> yeah. So this guy, after chatting with this girl in three days, this girl told the guy that i got an accident and i want money to pay for my hospital bills can you imagine you've been chatting with this guy for only three days and you want money to pay for your hospital bills so what if this man was not in the picture how could you have paid for your bills guys let's only stay with our problems you are on online dating apps because you are searching for love not money so after this guy hearing money talks that the girl got an accident what did he do he had to run away but was this guy fake he was not fake he was a real man <laughs> that is why he got married to jerry so this girl from that country i'm not going to mention thought maybe this guy is a scammer this guy is stingy <laughs> it is not all about being stingy or being a player no even if a guy tells you i love you i like you i have good plans with you that does not give you the permission to ask him money no guys fight your own battle <laughs> if it is to go to work go work and solve your own problems another thing guys that is so so important i would like you guys to know actually it is a challenge that jerry came across while chatting with this norwegian guy is that sometimes she had money problems she doesn't have a bundle or she wants to go and talk with this guy because they used to talk on internet cafe they used to talk on a video call but using the internet cafe those days so she told me that sometimes she couldn't have money she could learn from friends that you lend me some money and then at the end of the month i am going to pay you because jerry was working never asked this guy money but she used to lend money so that she can pay for the internet and talk with this norwegian guy why was she doing that guys it's because she really wanted to find love so if you are on online dating apps searching for love you really want to find the one you gotta make some efforts you have to show that you are ready you are committed to get to know this guy because if you start complaining i don't have internet to talk to this guy i don't have money so that i can buy vouchers i know like in tanzania we use vouchers you know you scratch it then enter some numbers and then bah you get the internet bundle in your phone you don't have money and be like ah i'm not going to be online today it's okay <laughs> when i get money i'll talk to him or if he sends me money then i'll be available all the time but guys i told you trust is not built in one day so you can't just be chatting with a guy for a week and you want money already to talk to him be ready if you are on online dating app searching for love you should come ready come prepared to get committed to the one if the one comes then don't lose him because you guys have been making mistakes you find a guy he is good but whew, you just let them go 
because a good example is Njeri guys what if Njeri said I don't have transport to take a matter to go to town and communicate to this guy and then disappear for a week she couldn't have been married today this guy could have just moved to the next girl yes because white men don't want complicated relationships they don't want ladies who are complicated if he is committed to you he talks to you every day he gives you his time and you start playing games you're gonna lose him he can't just be the one committed no you should be committed to him too <laughs> friends back to the story jerry tells us that they kept on chatting and after chatting for a while this guy asked jerry some questions about you know her past and everything jerry was so open to this guy even in her profile on online dating apps she wrote down that she has a son so this norwegian guy knew that jerry had a son and jerry also told him that she dropped out of school but her wish is to continue with her studies so what this guy did told jerry don't worry my love i am going to help you finish your studies remember she dropped out of school because she got pregnant at the age of 16. so this guy paid for jerry's school fees and also started paying school fees for the son this came when i asked jerry if this guy used to spoil her she told me yes bella he used to spoil me send me money send school fees for my son and pay school fees for my school do you see guys this is the same same guy that left the girl who told him that she wanted money because she got an accident to pay for her hospital bills after knowing her for three days <laughs> do you see guys chat with a man get to know him create that concrete relationship a strong one guys get to see if this guy is into you then he's gonna give you whatever you want without even being asked he will only bring questions and the answers money will have to come <laughs> yes without forcing him without stressing him that i want money i want money no so this guy was so so good took care of jerry jerry tells us that life changed you know it's changed <laughs> so guys jerry started her adult schooling and everything was going well they kept on communicating she tells us that they chatted or they talked for a year before meeting in person yeah but was this guy disappearing no was this guy not giving jerry time no was this guy bringing like i'm going to see my mother this weekend i won't be available on the phone no they used to talk every day and make video calls during the weekend everything was normal they knew everything about each other and after one year this guy was ready to go to kenya to meet jerry for the first time so time came and he went and jerry tells us that oh my god she was super excited <laughs> to see him for the first time and she did not take long guys to take this guy introduce him to the parents ask her why did you do that <laughs> did you trust this guy she told me bella yes i trusted him because few days after starting to chat with him i knew he was the one i left the dating apps and started thanking god for giving me the husband <laughs> And what is more funny she told me bella i fell in love with this guy <laughs> it's me who told him that i love him first before him telling me but when jerry told me that i understood norwegian men if you watch that video about the facts of dating a norwegian guy they are not in too much words like i love you <laughs> like the way italian men do they'll tell you i love you all the time compliments all the time no with norwegian men they are more into actions he will show you the actions and through the actions 
you will know the guy is the one so jerry after chatting with this guy for so long <laughs> the guy wasn't saying i love you six months nothing i love you but they talk every day they make video calls he gives her all the time that she wants spoils her <laughs> she was like no way <laughs> i'm going to tell you i love you <laughs> and she went ahead <laughs> told him that i love you <laughs> <laughs> you know with Norwegian men or men from Scandinavia they say that I love you word is such an important word you can't just use it anyhow <laughs> like that <laughs> the parents were so happy to see him they welcomed him very very well and everything went super good now comes a question that I cannot tell you this story without telling you do you know what it is? <laughs> I know you know guys the goodies didn't Jerry give her goodies for the first time she told me Bella for me I was ready to give my goodies to him because remember I was in love <laughs> but he told Jerry that he is not in a hurry it is not only the important thing that brought him to Kenya so he waited and after three days they enjoyed the goodies <laughs> yes guys yes she did she gave her goodies but to the right man guys take notes <laughs> so guys the first meeting went very well and it was time for jerry also to go to norway visit this guy and see this guy's life and that is how it was and if you wanted to know who paid for the trip it's the guy he paid for everything for the ticket and for shopping <laughs> so if i've been chatting with a guy and he's telling you you pay and when you come here i'm going to refund your money or pay for yourself so that you can come meet me do not accept <laughs> tell that guy to disappear <laughs> a man should be a man and pay for your trip go see him so guys jerry went to norway for the first time she was very very happy her dream came true she couldn't even believe that that day would have come but god is good yes she went to norway met her boyfriend the boyfriend took her to introduce her to his family which was a very important step then returned to kenya and they continued like that the guy could go jerry could go to norway they used to see each other three times a year and that is money but when a man falls in love with you he is not going to count the money that he spent on you he's not gonna count all the expenses <laughs> that he paid so that so that you can be together so guys their relationship took four years before getting married and it's because jerry was still studying but these people used to communicate these people used to see each other <laughs> guys true love exists at this point the challenges that you guys are going through on online dating apps you're like can i find a man who will love me like that yes guys you can you still can do not lose hope guys the fourth year guys that's when they planned for the wedding this norwegian guy went to kenya because their wedding was supposed to be in kenya he went through all the traditional process paid for the bride price the goats you know <laughs> she told me there was a sat down you know and counted the goats <laughs> and the goats are never enough in kikuyu culture <laughs> so he followed the tradition he respected the tradition this guy was a very very good man guys <laughs> yeah jerry is very very lucky so after paying for the bride price they got married in kenya and the wedding was super beautiful it was the happiest day in jerry's life so the wedding was good and after the wedding they went together to norway and the following year guys 
they made another wedding in Norway and celebrated it with Jerry's husband relatives. Yeah, so it was the second wedding. It went also very, very good. Everyone was happy at the wedding and both sides were happy because they both got their parties. <laughs> one was done in Kenya and another one was done in Norway. So everyone at peace but a disclaimer to you dear beautiful ladies don't get a guy and a guy is capable of only one wedding and then you're like no no we are going to do two weddings one in my country and another in his country no guys look at how this guy is capable if he is capable of one wedding then please come into an agreement and do only one wedding what matters is the happiness of the two of you yes family matters but you two comes first so dear beautiful friends i know this story has been lots of tips lots of tricks and you enjoyed it that is how jerry met the husband in less than a month guys on a dating app and if you want to know what kind of a dating app did jerry find the one she found him on afro introduction i've been telling you afro introduction is the best yes you say i've been on afro for so long i'm not finding the one but girl you need to change the game the way you do things maybe there is something you're doing wrong that is why you are not finding the one so sit down and find out what it is so that you can find the one jerry did not pay to chat with him because he paid so thank you so much guys we have come to an end of our today's video or our today's story if you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something comment below what you think about this story i would like to know <laughs> watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot of things guys i can promise you that <laughs> until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao <laughs>